In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself, we are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Reading from the Holy 
Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thou am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. You know, St. Luke tells us in our first reading from Acts of the Apostles, at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying, literally worshiping, and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. First, the detail at midnight is very important, not just the time of the day. Paul and Silas were in some serious darkness. They had been beaten pretty good, and now thrown into prison, locked to some stocks. They couldn't move. But they sang and worshipped God anyway. The second point here is the word listening that we see the other prisoners doing to them. It's actually a very rare verb in Greek. It means not just to listen, but to listen with pleasure, with delight, as if one's listening to music. So it was an incredibly new experience for the prisoners, and a wonderful testimony of Christian trustfulness thankfulness, even if it was midnight in many ways. So as mentioned, Paul and Silas, they were stripped, beaten, placed in stocks in that inner jail cell. And despite this very bad situation, they praised God. Now here's the question for you all. Do they feel like worshiping? Would you in that situation? Probably not. Their bodies were beaten, aching. They were tired, hungry. Maybe a little bit scared about their future, but they were determined to give glory to God. They did not let go of their faith or of the presence of Jesus in their lives. And they clung to the hard to understand sometimes truth that Jesus himself taught. Blessed are you when they insult you, persecute you, false to all kinds of evil against you because of me. Blessed are you. And so they knew that. So what did they give? A radical response to worship, which came from their will. They wanted to. We can do the same. No matter what our circumstances, we can choose to praise God. We can choose to curse Him too. It's up to you. But look at all what God has done for you, despite everything. Christ is our great example. Now, as we know, God always moves first, right? He inspired Paul and Silas to praise and worship, and they did. And then here comes the mighty movement of God. In this instance, it was the earthquake. Now for us, it may not be an earthquake, but God will move mightily in other ways. So when you're going through some difficult times, especially if you're persecuted, praise God anyway. And not, not blindly, not like someone's lost their minds, joyfully, knowing God will not abandon you. And then watch. But God can move within your life and upon your soul to not only set you free, but to bless others through you. So as it was for Paul and for Silas, it can be for you. God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, will get you to the other side of midnight, to the coming of the day. Placing our trust in the God's hands, let's come before him now with our prayers and intercessions. That all members of the church will work with the Holy Spirit to give forth the best examples of patience, kindness, charity, and mercy during this time of the pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all hatred and division will cease, and that the healing peace of God will be received by all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
For blessings in all police, firefighters, emergency medical technicians, all medical professionals, and all others who work to protect us at the risk of their own lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The God will strengthen and preserve our parish so we can come back ready to be used for his holy service, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering from any type of addiction may come to have freedom and strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to always remain focused on Jesus in our hearts, ready to suffer for the sake of righteousness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for the special intention on behalf of Gay and Ben Bittenell, and thanksgiving to God for the gift of new life, and for birthday blessings for Sarah and Natalie Williamson, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please take a moment to bow your heads and in silence ask God, for whatever you need. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, thank you once again for receiving our prayers. We are always grateful for the many gifts that you bestow upon us. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of the bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of the Grant to me, O Lord, we always find delight in these paschal mysteries, that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lodge ye ever gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and people exults in your praise. Even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are glad. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May we therefore you give us free breath by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us. Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and Paul the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To say his command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Now for those of you watching at home, time now for our act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me be separated from you. Amen. And let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange for which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.